Hello viewers, let's start today's class. Today we are discussing about multiplication. So earlier class we already did two digit times one digit. Today in this class we are going to discuss about three digit times one digit and two digit times two digit. So let's see an example. So in three digit times one digit, we should use the four columns on our abacus to represent our answer. So 424 times means three digit times one digit. So I'm using four columns on abacus. So first, four threes are 12. One, two, one in fourth column, and two in third column. Next three twos are six, so zero, six. Again, four threes are twelve, so one, two, so the answer is one, two, seven, two. So next example. 653 times 5, 6 fives are 30, so fourth column 3 is 0, next 5 fives are 25, so we have to leave our first column 2 5 25, next 5 threes are 15, 1 5, so the answer is 3 2 6 5. Next, three nine three is a twenty seven two seven nine two is a eighteen so one eight and nine ones are nine zero nine you shouldn't add in third column so that is tenth column we won't add we'll add in ones column nine so the answer is two eight eight nine two eight Eight, nine. So next we are doing four digit times one digit. So totally we need five columns here on abacus. So we will start from fifth column. So the first one is seven three is a so we should use five columns, okay? Yeah, yeah, twenty one. So leave your first column when you do multiplying with the hundred place six threes are eighteen so one eight five threes are fifteen one five next three ones are zero three yes so the answer is two two nine five three two two nine five three okay so whenever you're multiplying with the rightmost digit you should leave that one for next digit okay okay next seven three is a 21 so we have four digit and one day we have to take five columns start with the first one every time you must leave one column okay 21 two one so now I left the fifth column. Now I'll start for my next easy from fourth column onwards. 35. Good job. Next 28. Next 14. 1, 4. Yes, the answer is 2, 4, 7, 9, 4. Let's see next problem. 58 times 36. So here I have to use two digits, two digits. So four columns. First I will multiply 5 with the both the numbers 3, 6. Yes. 
then I will multiply with the 8 times 36 okay so 5 3 is a 15 1 5 so I have to left 3 of my the rightmost column then 6 5 is a 30 so I am adding 30 so I have to leave this column then I have to start from this column so 3 0 okay so when I am multiplying with the second digit I have 8 is 1 digit and 3 6 is 2 digit so I must use 3 columns leave the rightmost column then from 1's place to you should use the 3 columns okay so 3 8's are 24 then 6 3 is a 18 18 Yes. So what's the answer? Two zero eight eight. Next. So I have to multiply six times twenty eight first, then five times twenty eight. So how I'm doing six times twenty eight? Six twos are twelve, and then six eights are forty eight. Forty-eight. So how to add four? Next, I have five two is a ten plus ten minus six forty to add forty. So answer is one eight two zero. Next, I have 21 times 38. So, first I will multiply 3 to the 0, 6. So, first is 0, then 6. Yes, next 8 to the 16. So, I have to start from this column 1, 6, 16. Next, 0, 3. Next, 0, 6, 0, 3. So what's the answer? Seven nine eight. Next eight seven is fifty six. Eight eight is sixty four. How to add six? Papa up, mama up, babies up. Then four. Then seven seven is forty nine. Plus, 10, plus 5 minus 1 then 56 5 6 56 so what's the answer 6 7 8 6 x 47 times 96 4 nines are 36 4 six are 24 then again, 9, 7, 63. Papa, Mama, Baby, 63. 42. Plus 10, minus 6. Then 2. So the answer is O five one two. Yes. This is our end of class. If you like the video, please do share and subscribe to my channel. Thank